They're leaving St. Martin heading towards Colombia. After three months in the Caribbean, it's time to go. We've just decided we kind of want to go further. We are going to leave St. Martin. We had some thoughts about stopping in Nevis, but I don't think we have time for that now. We're gonna go straight to Cartagena. We have some people, some fans of Chase the Story who are really excited to take us out in Cartagena and show us the town. We've heard beautiful things about it. And then we're gonna go from Cartagena to Panama. Ryan and I have been to the San Blas Island, so we know it's absolute heaven. So bringing our own boat there is gonna be amazing. I'm not sure what the plan around Panama is, but eventually we're gonna go through the Panama Canal. And then when we come out the other end of the Panama Canal, we're gonna head for the Galapagos Islands. We're gonna go see blue-footed boobies and hang out with the sea lions that climb up onto our trampoline, which is really exciting. Ryan's not so excited about that. We're gonna go from the Galapagos Islands to the Marquesas, and I don't wanna be specific about islands, but I think we're aiming for Hiva Oa. Who knows where we'll actually end up. But we're going for the South Pacific. We're gonna work our way down the South Pacific Island chain till we get to Tahiti, which, I mean, I don't know anything about Tahiti, but I think that's like, when you look up Wikipedia, it's probably listed under paradise. Somewhere in the vague future, there's New Zealand and Australia. It's just a, it's, it's a new adventure, a new mission, and it's breathed some life into this boat. And we're now all abuzz trying to figure out what to do next, which is a little stressful, but I think if truth be told, we kind of like our lives a little bit stressful. Her. She's Leaving St. Martin, we are leaving the Caribbean. We're heading towards Columbia. Finally, after all this time, three months of hanging out in the Caribbean, we're heading uh, west, I suppose, towards Columbia. Today's the day. Will and Kat are in the yacht club, guys. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where are they? There. Yeah. With their camera. Have a good trip north. Love you guys. We'll miss you. We'll miss we'll you. Miss you. Who's going to bring the beer over? <laughs> Aww. I'm sad. I have like some tears in my eyes. <laughs> Acorn squash or butternut squash? 
acorn splash. Acorn splash. Uh, with quinoa and a bunch of veg. And we're testing out recipes for the Pacific crossing. Uh, when we were crossing the Atlantic, we ran out of fresh food and we've learned that acorn squash lasts forever. Um, so we're gonna see what we like about it and if it will work for the next crossing. For about an hour and we've already caught fish um this looks like a big one so we're trying to slow the boat down and see if we can pull this thing in successfully without losing it because we always lose a big one so let's have a look here You're pulling pretty hard for it to be. How's your boat working? <laughs> the boat it doesn't have enough holes to be held around my waist, so it's quite a, sort of like resting in a very uncomfortable spot. I'm sweating. I'm holding the real right side up. I've got a close up of it, don't worry. <laughs> Just for proof that we're not totally idiots. Holy shit, how oh, it's so huge. It's a swordfish. Uh, we, no way. It's no. a swordfish, guys. Oh, it can't be. Yeah, it's got the sword of the tongue. No. no. Get out the guy, the fish guide in the book. The sword is longer on the swordfish. Um, um, they need a gap. It's got a gap. And a trident. Look how big that is. Oh my god. Okay, hold on here. What are we, this is, I've never seen anything like this before. It's a swordfish. Here, I thought I had a plant. Is it a swordfish? Uh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. No. Swordfish. Oh my god, look at it. That thing's gonna kill us. What the fuck? Oh my God. I can't bring that on board. Move it. Oh my God. Feed. And here I was like, maybe it's just a plant. <laughs> all those steaks you have in the freezer, so we gotta pull this fish on board. I don't know if she's gonna wanna eat this fish, though. Oh my god, it's gonna be delicious. quite sad. <laughs> Go ahead. Guys, this is just If we leave him out of the water long enough, they'll just die, right? He'll suffer. Okay. Um. He's definitely I got flipped on around the back of us. Yeah, I told 
you. I need to do cross. I need to do some cross kit with you guys. Definitely. <laughs> I won't bother putting the fish line back out again this afternoon. Guys, we don't need fish for another week. I think we can quit now. We have no place to put any more fish. Charlie will be like, meh, meh. I know. <laughs> Get her. Now let's measure no. you. I am... Oh. Oh. <laughs> 170 <laughs> centimeters. That's the size of a basketball player. That's seven foot two. So we thought we had a swordfish, because we caught one of these before, but then Bruna just realized that the one we had had this big thing at the back, and it doesn't have a sharp... The uh, pointy thing. So now we've realised we've caught a salvfish. But the crazy thing is, I don't know if these are max weights or average weights, but 128 pounds. That must that be 128 be. pounds. Should be a more peaceful morning than yesterday morning because we won't be putting out the fishing line since we've caught enough fish meat to last us for about three months with our 120 pound sailfish so we don't we don't need to go fishing for quite a while now
guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. We arrived in Cartagena and we had so much fun there. We went to a salsa club and then we went shopping. And then Liam and Gemma arrived and we met Felipe and Julia who took us for an awesome day. Make sure you subscribe to Chase the Story and if you want to see a little bit of my work you can follow my website, Instagram and Facebook or you can just click here. Oh.